Hi, I'm going to illustrate acting assembly. This Pac-Man's going to illustrate my G-Actin monomer, which can polymerize to form actin filaments. Assembly starts with nucleization of the free monomers to form a trimer, a barbed end, the faces, the pointed end, the tails. Polymerization proceeds with both ends, yielding a filament called F-actin. Polymerization is a reversible process. Monomers both associate and dissociate from either end. However, growth is faster at the barbed end at higher concentrations of free subunits. When the concentration of the free actin monomers falls below a certain level, the barbed end will continue to increase but the pointed end will decrease in length. This is known as treadmilling, which slowly moves towards the positive end, plus end, and the negative end. Treadmilling cycle depends on ATP, which is bound to the monomers that add to the ends of the filament. ATP represented by three cherries, three phosphates, ATP, ATP. Whereas ATP represented by two phosphates, two cherries, at the pointed end. Treadmilling cycle depends on ATP, which is bound to the monomers as shown. And the actin mon um, soon after polymerization, ATP is hydrolyzed to ATP, ADP. ATP associates more readily with the rapidly growing barbed end. Barbed end. ATP binding and hydrolysis play a key role in the, di role in, in the dynamic behaviour of the actin filament. ADF cofilin, represented by these pink monsters, binds to the actin filaments and enhances the rate of dissociation of ATP actin monomers from the pointed ends. Profilin, represented by these blue monsters, has the opposite effect. Profilin acts to stimulate the exchange from ADP for ADP, resulting in the formation of actin ATP monomers. So it dissociates from the cofilin. which the profilin allow the actin monomers to bind to the positive end, hydrolyze at the barbed end, ADP, the cycle repeats.